what's going on everybody this is Sean from Gen 4 technology and today I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown on how you can set up the XMV mobile app with your X series NVR or XVR so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on over to our mobile device whether that be iPhone or Android and we're gonna to go to the App Store so on iPhone it's gonna be the Apple App Store on Android which will be what I'm referencing we're going to go to the Google Play Store. So I'm going to open that up here. We're going to go to the search apps bar and we're going to type in the app name, which is XMV. So I'm going to go ahead and type in XMV here. Select the search icon. As you'll see, XMV will pop up with G4 Direct as the publisher underneath. We're going to select it and we're going to select install. We're going to go ahead and let this install real quick. And then once it's installed, we're going to go ahead and select the open option. You're going to want to go ahead and allow all of these uh, pop-ups. And then if you'd like, you can go through the little tutorial it gives you, but I'm going to go ahead and just skip through these real quick. So I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to hit back and just get us to the main view. So I'm going to skip through all of these. All right, so we have the app downloaded and opened. Now we're going to go ahead and hop on over to our DVR. So I'm going to put my phone down here for a second. We're going to log into the DVR. And on the DVR, we're going to go to the main menu. So we're going to select this little extension bottom left corner. We're going to go to setup. And then within setup, we're going to go to system and then the information option. So you can just select information here and this will pop up the information page where you'll see your QR code. And this is what we're going to scan on the mobile app. One thing you want to note is that your network state is connected. If it's not, typically that means you're not connected to the internet or something's wrong within your network setting. So make sure you have a network state of connected before you scan the code. And once you do see that connected state, we're gonna go ahead and go back to our phone here. We're gonna extend out the menu by selecting that top left little person icon. We're gonna go to device list. We're gonna select the plus sign top right corner. We're going to select IPC slash NVR slash DVR. And we're going to allow this to take pictures so we can use the camera on our phone to scan this QR code. So I'm going to select that. And this will pull up our little scanner. So we can now go over to this information page with our phone and scan that QR code. That will automatically fill in the QR code number within the first option your port you're going to leave alone username you can change if you don't want to use the admin account but typically you're going to use the admin account you're going to type in the password for your NVR or DVR then you can click this little eyeball if you want to verify what you put in is correct you're going to select save this will prompt a little tutorial letting you know what each of these fields represent. You can go through and read these if you'd like. If not, go ahead and select OK like I'm about to do here now. As you can see, my device is connected. So I'm going to go ahead and go straight to Live View by selecting this little play icon. And as you see, your cameras will populate and you can view them real time. So let's go over what options you have via Live View, right? So on the bottom toolbar here, these are going to be your main options. And what do these options do, right? The first option is a little picture of a camera. This allows you to take a screenshot of whatever's going on and whatever camera you want to take a screenshot of. So simply double tap on the camera to pull it full screen. And if you want to take a picture of whatever's going on in real time, you just select this little camera icon and it takes a picture. And you can click on it again to go to where it's at. And if you want to share it or download it, you can hit download or you can hit this little share icon on the bottom toolbar and share it however you want to share it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this since I don't need it. We're going to go back to live view. Next is going to be recording. So you see this little recorder icon. If you select that, it will start recording the live real time video that's currently going on. And then when you want to stop recording, you select that camcorder again. 
and then it will save that footage to your phone. Um, to go to that footage, all you'll do is you'll select this little person icon top left corner. You'll go to file list and you'll see your recorded video um, within this section in which you can select it and you can share it via this bottom toolbar, same as the snapshot, or you can download it to your phone. Um, next, you have the little four grid box option. This is where you can select what view set you wanna view on the app. So if you wanna change it to a four view, a nine view, you know, uh, some of these customized views, this is where you can change that. Um, this little audio icon, this turns on the audio. So if you have any cameras that have a built-in mic or have an audio mic connected to it, this is where you can turn it on and listen to that audio. This little microphone icon, this allows you to talk out of the NVR. So if your NVR supports an audio output, um, you can connect powered speakers to that audio output. And when you click this little mic icon, you can start talking out of the NVR output. If your camera supports a speaker, um, you actually are going to do that through this little top right icon. So if you click in the camera that you want to talk out of, you'll see a little mic icon in this top right corner. And if we click on that, then we can talk out of that camera. Um, a few other things, you have this little uh, alarm icon. This will turn on the siren of the camera if it supports it. So if you have like an active deterrence camera, you click on that, it will trigger that siren manually. Um, and you can use that to, to scare away intruders and such. The little light icon underneath that, that just turns on the light that's within the camera. Um, similar to the, the alarm, it's just gonna trigger a white light if the camera supports a white light. And the same goes for this little colorful red and blue light. That will just trigger the red and blue lights if the camera supports those. If you wanna view playback, all you have to do is select this little play icon uh, with, via this middle bar and that will pull you straight to playback. Um, gives you a little tutorial again of what each of these options do. You can hit OK. And to play back, you can select the camera or cameras you want to play back. You can select the date via this bar down here that you want to review playback from, you know, and change it. Um, these little red dots signify what days have recorded footage on them. So if you're looking for a specific date, go through the calendar. If it has that real, little red circle under it, that means you have footage to actually review. If you don't see red circle, um, it's either already been overwritten or you didn't have your recording settings set up correctly. Once you select your date, you can select this little X icon. And then the bottom, you'll see your bar for that day, which you can scroll through and you know change that time frame to review different periods of the day. Um, you can also record clips from this time period by just selecting this little camera camcorder icon on the bottom. You just select it, it starts recording. You know, you can scroll to where you wanna end or if you wanna do a short clip, you can just wait till it's over. You select it again and then it will save that file to your phone. You can also filter by what kind of recording you want to review. So if you're recording on any of the smart features, you'll select intelligence. If you're recording by motion, alarm, any of these options, you just select that option and it will pull up all footage within those parameters. This little USB option down here, top bottom right corner, that's where you could back up to a USB if it supported such. That wraps up this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Like the video if this was helpful. Subscribe for future content and have a nice rest of your day.